Hi, uh, this is Dr. Al Malik from facultyworkshop.com and in today's video I'm going to show you how to take a bunch of short answer questions and upload them to Moodle without having, having to retype them from scratch. So the way that this works is if you've got some short answer questions say on Word document what you want to do is you want to take your questions and you want to enter them into uh, a notepad like I've, I've done right here. So these are three questions that I've copied from a Word document and I would like to have those imported into Moodle. Uh, go ahead and paste your questions into Notepad and you can put as many questions as you want. Now the key thing is that you should not number any of these questions, just go ahead and list them. Once you've listed your questions, what you want to do now is to put the potential or the prospective correct answers that you will accept once typed by tap. Once you've copied and pasted your short uh, answer questions from Word document into Notepad, you'll need to go ahead and enter possible correct answers that you would be willing to accept. And the way to do that is you're going to need to enter in a curly bracket and put several potential answers. But before you put each answer, you have to uh, put in the equal sign ahead of every question. Once you've pasted the questions from Word document into Notepad, you're going to need to put in the list of correct or possible correct answers that you would be willing to accept. Now for this first question, the question is the capital of the United States is located and I'm going to put several options. Now to enter your questions, you have to start by putting in a curly bracket, put an equal and then type in the name of the or the the correct answer now in this case it would be Washington DC now there's a possibility that the students may type out just the word DC now would I accept that as a correct answer and if I choose to accept just the uh, initials DC as the correct answer then what I will need to do is put in an equal sign and type in DC space equal D dot C. So basically you want to put in any combination of correct answers that you would be willing to accept. And let's go ahead and do one more and we'll call this one Washington or equal Washington DC without the periods and then we're going to close the curly bracket. So if a student enters any one of these options into the uh, blank space for the short answer, it's going to get marked as correct. Any other combination will be marked as incorrect. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing for the other two questions. I'm just going to go ahead and paste the correct answer here. And for this particular question, I'm only going to provide one option. And for the last question, which county is Hollywood located in? And here are the options that I am willing to accept. So we've got three options over here. All right, so now we're, once we've got the questions and the potential answers, we're going to go ahead and save this file. And you can name the file anything you want to. And we're going to save this on the desktop. And the file is right there on the desktop. You can go ahead and close this file. Next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open your Moodle course. And I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new quiz. So we're going to click on add an activity. We're going to scroll down to the quiz, select quiz, click add. And I'm going to call this short answer questions just for demonstration purposes. I'm not going to put in a description at this time. You can go ahead and do that if you'd like to and set the timer. Uh, but for this demonstration, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, save and return to course. Great. So there is a quiz. I'm going to move it down to week one at the very bottom over there. Okay. So now we've got a quiz created, but there are no questions as of yet. So what you'll want to do is go ahead and click on quiz. And as you can see, it says no questions have been added. 
Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to go to the administration navigation panel or the administration menu on the left pen. As you can see, no questions have been added as of yet. So we still need to upload the questions that we just created in Notepad. So go to the administration menu panel on the left of your screen and scroll down to question bank. You're going to go ahead and expand that and you want to click on import. When you get to the screen, you're going to need to select a file format. You want to select the gift file format. Click on general and select the location or the category where you want to import the questions into. Um, I've got a quiz over here labeled as short answers because we just created that. So I'm going to go ahead and select that as a location where I want the file to import the questions to. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the file that we just created. We're going to drag it and drop it right here. Click on import. And the three questions have been uploaded. Go ahead and click on continue. Now the questions have been uploaded to the test bank, but not to the actual quiz. So you do need to add these to the quiz. So what we're going to do here is we are going to So the questions have been uploaded to the test bank, but not to the actual quiz. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to go, going to go back to the quiz itself. So we're going to click on edit quiz. And you can see this is a quiz that we're working on and there are no questions. So what we're going to do here is click on add question from bank. And I'm going to select the default for the short answers. See where it says three over there? That's the three questions that we just uploaded. We're going to select that. And it's going to display the questions right over here. And we're going to click on add selected questions to the quiz. Great. So the questions have now been added. As you can see, it says three questions. The quiz is open. And we're done. We're going to go back to week one to see how it looks. If I were to quick click on the short answer questions, click on attempt quiz. There we go. The capital of California is, we are going to say DC. Next page. The capital of the United States is located in The capital of California is, we're going to type in Sacramento. Next. The capital of the United States is located in, we're going to select DC. Which county is Hollywood located in? And I'm going to type in Los Angeles. Finish attempt and submit and finish. As you can see, all of my questions were imported and the answers were correct. And that's how you can import short answer questions into Moodle. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to be notified as soon as we release another video. If there's something specific that you would like to learn, please post your request below this video in the comment section. Thank you for watching.